in somewhat of an oversimplistic way, this is our replacement for soil shredders. You can see the amount of biomass that's being lifted and cut from down deep into the verdure with very little disturbance to play. In fact, we'll follow behind with a light sand top dressing here, drag it, all this organic matter will remain on the surface floating. The little bit of sand that kicked up with this machine combined with the light uh, addition of the top dressing will be dragged back and worked back into the uh, turf and then we will blow off the organic matter and then follow up with a mowing. But soil shredders are an extremely important part of the soil ecology and it helps tremendously in cycling organic matter effectively helping to reduce that. So you can see this verticutter is pretty unique in its design. Very thin blade, stainless steel. It has a little carbide tip, but you can see the slight twist. That's what really makes this machine unique and work extremely well in kicking up a lot of this biomass that helps us manage organic matter. Okay, this is our eight-year-old NTEP trial. We have 007, Pure Distinction, and A's. I mean, we got 20 different cultivars of Creeping Bent, all the latest and greatest, so to speak. And what we're doing here is we're testing the tolerance of very aggressive verticutting, dethatching, whatever you want to call it, with this machine. And some of these varieties can tolerate it better than others, and we're documenting that. Um, the ones that uh, can take a higher degree of this type of cultural practice we feel is important in trying to manage that organic matter that wants to, wants to uh, develop near the surface, the thatch if you will. So you can see there's a lot of biomass that gets kicked up from this machine and there's a lot of sand in here too. So the other part of this is to consider the reduction of sand top dressing. I feel the more sand you put down, the more organic matter you build. And that's a whole other topic. But, um, I mean, it's a fact that sand will dilute the organic matter in the zone where it's deposited. But what occurs then is the plant readjusts, grows through that layer of sand top dressing, and in effect, you're increasing the organic matter over time as the depth of that top dressing zone increases. So, um, so it's kind of an interesting study we got going on here and I think it's an important one because uh, organic matter in a high sand ridge zone is, uh, is definitely an issue.